All right, guys, we're hitting another leg day, and we're doing all the little boring accessory movements first. We're gonna be hitting some sumo deadlifts at the end of the workout. We're gonna make our way up to 365. I'm hoping to hit that between six to eight reps. I think that's wide enough. Let's get this boring accessory work done. If you guys wanna isolate the glutes on this movement, scoot your hips forward, hold on to the machine, lift up off the seat, and then go out. Much better glute engagement here. So we can deadlift. Hey, somebody's <laughs> gotta fucking do this shit. Who's gonna do it? We are. I know for sure that Justin's gonna hit like fucking what 500 in the next three months. But I'll try to catch up to him in the next month. Yeah. <laughs> We just hit 365 for a very solid set of eight. I was just expecting to get at least six. I would have been happy with six, but I was pulling it up. I felt like I was keeping my glutes low and my back was protected. So I ended up going to eight. Still not gonna go any heavier this week. I'm sticking to the plan. Next week, I'll get into 405. The week after that, I'll try 455, probably just for a single. Try and go for six to eight. This is the set though. This is the set of the day. This is the set that separates the men from the boys. tough set like that, I typically rest anywhere between five to 10 minutes. Right now I've got a stopwatch on and we are four minutes and 30 seconds into it and my heart is still racing. So I'm not ready to hit the next set. People sometimes wonder how long should you rest in between sets? You should be resting until you feel ready to go. If that means you need to rest a whole 10 minutes because the set was that intense, then you rest 10 minutes. But if you're ready to go after a minute, two minutes, do that. It's not a one size fits all. You have to understand your body and be able to balance intensity with training smarter rather than harder. What's up guys? I'm on my night walk right now. And I just realized one of the unfortunate things about doing your cardio outside away from the house and not in the comfort of your gym where you got a nice bathroom is now I'm about 20 minutes into my walk and I realize I have to use the bathroom. Uh, and there is no place for me to use the bathroom. I mean, there's a park across the street, but also it is 11 o'clock at night. And I'm not trying to go in a park bathroom at 11 o'clock at night. So I'm just gonna have to tough it out and hold it because I'm doing 50 minutes of cardio right now. So 